Hi everyone, it's Rob here from Soundbaker and I'm just going to do a quick video on what I have happening in the studio. I've been recording a drummer called John Trotter and he is also an author and has currently two uh, drum books that are available. Uh, I'll put some links down below so you can, um, you can find them and, and purchase them if you wish. Uh, we're just recording the third installment of the series of his books and um, so the, you know the situation here is fairly elaborate with the setup um, we've done it several times now over a few years and it's changed a little bit here and there but um, I'm gonna run through what I've got on today okay so let's just start with overheads with the overheads I have a pair of Royer 122's these are the phantom powered ribbons um, they're beautiful on cymbals and John's got some really nice cymbals um, and um, they really do bring out the best there. Uh, quick note on what I am doing with these is they are they actually inverted so I'm actually picking up from the reverse side of them um, and I just feel that, that sort of just brings out the top end a little better a bit more of the sizzle that we want um, in both the cymbals and the snare drum uh, what else we got? We got uh, Sennheiser 421s on all the toms. Uh, I've got an SM57 on the top snare. I've got a Shure SM7B on the hi hat. Uh, I have an EV ND868 on the kick drum, um, and we've done a, we've used a Beta 52 before as well. Uh, I just like this one here. It's a little more versatile for crossing over a few genres, which we are in these. Uh, drum examples and also have you can't see it, but also have an E901 Sennheiser on, on the inside kick there uh, Just have another look around here um, So that's the situation there with how we've placed those mics um, and the overheads we've got this particular overhead going over these cymbals as well as picking up this tom um, and this overhead here is focusing on that symbol on the hats. Uh, and as a room mic, uh, way over here, probably about three meters away, um, I've got the AEA R88, which is stereo ribbon, stereo ribbon mic there. And that's, that's been awesome. Um, as far as outboard and pre's and that kind of thing, I might just do a quick walk through this as well. Um, on the kick drum, I have uh, I have uh, the Electrodynes 501s, um, then I'm going into the 511 EQs, and then I'm also adding a little bit of compression on the way in. Um, and what else have I got? On the overheads, um, I'm using the APIs, bottom snare, the API, um, actually the ride symbol I forgot to mention. I have a VM44, a Milo VM44 underneath that ride symbol, just there with a the pad on. Um, that's really just to, if we do need to bring out the rides on any of the examples that are specific to um, the chapter, you know, that's our kind of jet out, get our jail free card sort of uh, microphone. On the ride, uh, on the snare drum, I've got it going through the BAE 1073 with a touch of EQ. Um, on the room mic, I've got the AEA TIP. Pre's, really beautiful pre's uh, for that microphone. Uh, on the toms, I've got them going through the SciTech, the MPX 4A there. Um, and yeah, um, what else is happening? Okay, a bit of outboard here as well. I've got the room mics going through the API 2500. Um, and that is the result there. We've, we've done 631 examples in the last two days. And um, it's been an incredible journey. Hopefully you hear some examples soon. Thanks for watching.